you know, if you're like me, it's the middle of August, one of your constant challenges is how do you just keep your plants alive in this heat and the drought? The temper my air conditioning's been running literally for th two months straight and the average temperature's been 90 degrees in Chicago. And I'm typically dealing with this balancing game in my plants where do I have one that's got, that's completely dried out and hasn't been watered enough or have I been taking care of it well? This is the kind of challenge that we all experience taking care of our home vegetable gardens, but there's much bigger issues at stake. I'm here at the Intel IDF conference talking to you about a solution we're working on with Intel, AD Link, and our other partners in the IoT Innovation Factory focused on precision agriculture and is dealing with exactly this problem. At the IoT Innovation Factory, we take a look at industry types of problems, whether we're dealing with city issues, things going on in the medical arena, and we look for ways to apply unique technologies um, and business ideas to solve uh, different kinds of problems. We've been focused on a problem with Intel called precision agriculture. And this is a digital experiment we're running where we're leveraging IoT technology to look at how can we save water in areas uh, where there's just not enough water. For example, an alfalfa farm hanging out in the middle of Camp Verde, Arizona uses 25 inches of water in order to generate a healthy crop. But when you take a look at the average precipitation in this area, less than half of that water comes from rainfall. And that means they're tapping into an already overtaxed underground water system to get water to, make an imp to, to keep these crops growing. So what we put together was a, a, a digital experiment to look at the practicality of using IoT sensors deployed into the farm to identify the specific irrigation needs uh, for this particular location. Combining the power of the IBM Watson IoT technology, IBM's weather company data, Intel technology for sensor, sensor boards and field sensor activities, as well as technology from AD Link for hardened infrastructure and Automaton for edge capabilities. We've gone through and created an approach that we believe can have a significant impact in the agricultural marketplace. So with Intel, what we've done is we've gone ahead and equipped a farm with IoT technology uh, deployed out into, into an alfalfa field with literally hundreds of these out of the, you know, off the shelf irrigation sensors plunked into the ground. What we have here is a solar powered uh, sensor, a sensor board enclosed in a, uh, enclosed in a um, waterproof uh, system that can be deployed out into the field. It's completely autonomous. And these are stuck into the ground all over, all over this field, many per acre. And that allows us to get real-time data about the amount of water that's currently in the soil. So we've taken a number of these sensors then, we've put them in the soil at this farm, and based upon that, the data associated with the, with the soil and the amount of water in that is captured by it, and it's sent over to the AD Link gateway which is enclosed in a, in a centralized cabinet uh, in, in, inside the farm, which can then connect over a cellular network and beam data associated with the moisture levels in, in, the, in the farm back to the Watson IoT cloud. And that's what we're looking at here, is the results of the predictive analytics that have, are actually forecasting how fast the soil is drying. Now, of course, if I was going to do, be doing a real demo, we wouldn't be seeing the numbers changing very quickly in this case because we are literally watching the paint dry. So what we've done instead is we put together a fast simulation here, pulling real data from the farm and showing how we can leverage forecasting algorithms to predict when moisture levels will fall below the tolerance level needed to successfully grow alfalfa. In this case, we're combining data from, the, from our weather company acquisition, including temperature and humidity, combining that with soil moisture levels, and using that information to advise farmers what areas need, need to be watered the most. The next phases of this project will actually be moving beyond BI reporting and advising people with uh, business information and we will be directly integrating into the irrigation systems on this farm, dynamically opening the spigots to water where, need, where, we need to, where we need to water. So I've actually had the opportunity to deploy some of the same technology we're using at the alfalfa farm in Camp Verde, Arizona, right to my house. So I have some of these sensors hooked into an 80-link gateway running at my house and plugged right into my lawn. 
In fact, let's take a look right now at what the weather patterns have been doing uh, to the moisture levels for my lawn and to my plants. Here you can see over the last week, the, the typical average moisture level in the soil. And this is very typical for any residential area, looking at a lawn, looking at a garden. Late at night, we see we're at, we're, we're see we're at the driest phases uh, of, of, the, of the soil. And then what happens is we hit the dew point in the morning and the soil moisture level dramatically rises. And as long as there's, it's a sunny day in the middle of August, this, the system, it will gradually dry out. And this is what it typically looks like. Well, right before we came to the IDF conference, as we were getting ready and, and taking a look at this, I was sitting in my office and there was a little pitter patter of rain in the morning. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at what happened on that day. As we started the morning off, there was a light sprinkle and that was happening right about here. And my wife was not able to actually walk our dog. So she was waiting for a break in that weather. Well, I really like this representation of, of what's going on with soil moisture because it helps me tell a great story. When I take a look here, you can see here the water, it started to taper off here. And we started to have a flat line in the moisture levels. And that's about the time my wife decided to take the dog for a walk. Unbeknownst to her, the weather was gonna change dramatically. And she was out here when the thunderstorm hit. Well, she came back and I'm not sure what was wetter, the dog or my wife. And this is exactly the reason why we have to be able to blend forecasted weather data into our agricultural solution. We have to leverage information from the vast amount of weather stations out there so that we can determine the right choices to make when we're dealing with an agriculture challenge or deciding whether to walk our dog. So as we looked at the solution and, and the real-time data coming off, it's important to recognize the fact that the whole reason this solution works is we're bringing together the real-time data coming off of the sensors captured through the Intel platform and beamed to the cloud through the AD-Link uh, IoT gateway. And we're combining it with weather data and using our IoT Watson platform to go through and do predictive analytics to identify the early warning indicators of what's going to be causing uh, dry soil. And it shouldn't really surprise you when we put that up into a graphic what kind of issues are going on. In this chart here you can start to see the relationship between various forecasted weather types, the amount of sunshine, and then the color density shows us the soil moisture. If you look, if we have a forecasted thunderstorm and low light levels, we end up with, a, we end up with very wet, wet soil conditions. And of course, if it's a fair day with a lot of sun, that's when the soil starts to get really dry. The predictive models are combining all of these attributes and giving us advanced warning so that we can determine whether or not it's necessary to irrigate a particular location. At IBM Watson IoT, we're committed to finding new applications for digital technology that will make a significant impact on the world. And that's why collaborating with Intel, we've created the IoT Innovation Factory. It's sort of like a consortium where new ideas can be brought together to the group and we can create effectively an incubator for new IoT-based ideas. If you're an enterprise that's looking to create an IoT-based business model, maybe to disrupt your existing business or even go after new opportunities, the IoT Innovation Factory might be able to help. We bring together technologies from participating partners, including Intel ODMs like AD-Link, data providers, including the IBM Weather Data, systems integrators that participate in our program and bring specific industry expertise. We go after industry problems and validate things to create industry-specific blueprints that can be taken to market, having been certified by Intel and by IBM. The two powerhouses coming together, the two biggest voices in, in IoT today, is going to make a significant change in helping organizations understand how they can leverage the power of IoT and cognitive computing to make a huge impact on the world around them.